We now are going to enjoy, for the very first time, Women in Our Cast. Yeah! <laughs> Let me, let me try that one more time. Women in our cast. <laughs> um, is obviously momentous, uh, and it marks a moment when the Hasty Pudding Institute of 1770, after approximately 200 year history, is fully co-ed in every single part of the organization. And now, we are proud to introduce our man of the year who represents the pudding's mission to not only make life a whole lot more entertaining, but to give back to the arts community. Please join me in welcoming to the stage our 53rd man of the year, known for his roles in Heroes, Gilmore Girls, This Is Us, and Creed II, our 53rd man of the year, That's a really beautiful name. What does it mean? Ventimiglia? Oh, yeah. uh, 20 miles. 20 miles? My doctor said that's the recommended viewing distance for your performance in the movie Pathology. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, even more impressive, Milo was named, and we swear this is real, the world's sexiest vegetarian of 2009 by PETA. <laughs> even though everyone sees you as a piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. For those of you who don't know, Gilmore Girls is a show about a mom and her friendship with her daughter. Aw, that sounds kind of like Milo. After 41 years, the only plus one he could find to bring to this was his mother. West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all, shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of thugs that were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got one little fight and my mom got scared. She said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle the bell left. I wished for a cab and when it came near, the license plate said freshman had dice in a mirror. If anything, I thought that this cab was rare and I said, man, forget it. Yo, Holmes, the Bel Air. I pulled up to the house about seven or eight, and I yelled to the cabbie, yo, home, smell you later. Look at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the man of the year. <laughs> I want to say thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm overwhelmed <laughs> and a little speechless. Uh, a, a good friend of mine actually said, I'm not impressed with things, only people. And I'm very impressed with everyone that uh, took the time to spend the day with me and mine. What was the highlight of your day today? Honestly, it was spending time with, uh, with everyone from the, the Hasty Pudding. You know, I, I'm, like I'd said earlier, I'm just, I'm so impressed by them and, and what they do. And every student I spoke to, medical, uh, medical school, as well as business school, uh, statistics, it wasn't just theater. So it was very different from how I came up and I went to school and I was just a theater major. So to know that these kids are doing such bigger things, but yet at the same time bringing importance to the arts through their contribution and also kind of inspiring that and, and furthering um, early arts education and all of that. Uh, I'm just inspired. 
I'm really filled with energy because of them. Honored, just absolutely honored. Um, you know, I've in my career I've always been a part of troops and companies that include everyone. So to know that the Hasty Pudding is doing that and now including women on the stage, it's absolutely the right thing to do. It's the greatest thing to do because the heart of an artist isn't only in one person, one type of person, one way of being. It's really in all of us. I think people want to feel good, even in pain and sadness. Uh, I think people want uh, to know that there's a community of family, the one you're born with, or the one that you find and create yourself, or the one you're taken into. I, as an artist, know that the work that I'm a part of is creating positivity. Uh, smiles, happiness, anything. I mean, even when I'm walking down the street like I was here in Cambridge with, with my folks and, and uh, passing by someone and you hear, this is us, this is us, got the mustache. It's exciting because you know that they're probably going to have a conversation that completely relates to their own story and their own lives and they find that the stories we play are not too dissimilar for their own lives and hopefully what we inspire is community and inclusion and positivity.